So I have this thing, right? So a lot of times I won't be filming content just because I think I don't have enough or it's not gonna make a good enough video. Um, by the way, feels weird walking up to this thing. I love this car so much. Looking at the feedback from you guys <clears throat> so far, you guys approve of the car. I know it's kind of funny to come out of a uh, Volkswagen, say I'm gonna go into a Japanese car and then get another uh, Volkswagen product, but I just hope that this one uh, performs well enough for me. So anyways, like I was saying, I have a problem where um, if I'm filming content or there's an opportunity for content and uh, I don't think it's good enough, I just don't film it. And I miss out on a lot of videos because of that. Uh, that's just me being, you know, overthinking things. So for this year, for 2020, I definitely, definitely want to cut that out of my routine and anything that is content worthy and fun that I'm doing, whether it's road trips or car stuff or film stuff or anything, film it, make videos of it. And I just have to constantly remind myself that so that I can make more content for you guys. So with that being said, Pierce just messaged me and I was at work today, so I could not be a part of it. But uh, his exhaust for his LS400 has just been finished. And I wish that I could have filmed the process of it, but he had it done at a shop, so I probably wouldn't have even been able to film it there anyways. Um, but I'm gonna go see it and we're gonna hear it for the first time. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. So let's go. I love this thing. What's up? You ready to hear it? You ready to hear it? <laughs> Give her a roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You love it. You do burnouts here? It's awesome. This thing sounds tit. <laughs> <laughs> so One to ten. Eleven. Oh wow. <laughs> you got some fresh five percent on this thing too. <laughs> you trying to be a Reebok dad or a I'm drug dealer? To sell I can't. Reeboks. I can't tell. <laughs> On the whoa, hit me up. New balance and Reebok. Oh uh, man, so. If you guys don't know, this shop is actually literally a stone's throw away from the body shop that got my Soarer painted, Speedy Auto Body. Uh, literally the shop right next door. Super awesome guys. They work on mostly Euro stuff. They got old Volkswagen Rabbit trucks in there and R32s and stuff like that. So this thing kind of fits right at home. But uh, I got to go to the shop with Pierce. We have to swap this car out because he does not need to drive that anymore because now he has his Lexus. So we're gonna drive to the shop and swap cars. Good morning guys, it is the next day and today we're heading back down to Jimmy's shop to do some more work to the store. Now I have a couple parts that we have for the turbo kit and hopefully we can make some awesome progress on that today. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get, but all I know is I'm about to get my coffee start this day. Hi. Thank you. <laughs> I love this thing. I think the first thing I'm going to do to this actually is probably get a DSG and like Haldex service done. I don't know. The, the previous owner or the person that sold me the car said that it's had that service done recently, but uh, for peace of mind, I think it's definitely something that I want to do. Um, so that's probably going to be the first thing on the list. And then I think the second is definitely uh, either exhaust or some type of lowering kit. I don't know if I want to do coilovers. Um, coilovers is kind of a big commitment and you don't really get the comfort out of your car anymore. It kind of turns into a stiff... Uh, stiff kind of ride which for this car who knows I don't know how it would feel but 
I'm probably gonna go with lowering springs. Um, God, the last time I did lowering springs. Holy crap, that was like five years ago. Uh, but anyways, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I don't know yet. But we're heading to Jimmy's shop and uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. All right guys, so we are back at Jimmy's shop. Hi Jimmy. We're live. With I fucking stuttered so bad. <laughs> What's up, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> so, we're back here with the sore. Uh, it hasn't been touched in probably three weeks or so just because of the whole Drift Week trip. But we're back and uh, we're going to make some more progress on it today. So, so party. So, uh, I can't guarantee we're going to have it done today because it's a lot of work. So, right. what we have to do is we have to get everything together. We're going to put the turbo all together, the housings, whatnot. We gotta figure out how we wanna clock it, we gotta put all the drains and fills on it, figure out how we're gonna route them on a chassis, bolt it all together, and then everything else. Hell yeah. Not, not it's too gonna be, It's gonna be good. <laughs> so, if you guys remember, I got a, or Adam. Uh, stole Adam's turbo. <laughs> Adam hooked me up with a Garrett GTX 3071R Gen 2 with a .63 hot side. Oh, spooly so, boy, that's what I got on my be, 1J. Should be spooling up pretty good. Yeah. Should be fun. And uh, we got to put it all together. So I got this kit before I left. That'll be able to, you know, assemble the turbo and uh, gaskets and all that stuff. So I can't remember. Jimmy did this, obviously, this exact same turbo on his VVTi 1J, uh, but it was kind of a pain in the ass to assemble the turbo and bolt it to the manifold uh, assembled. So we may. So have there's to... always one bolt that's a pain in the ass. Right. Usually it's this one right here. So depending on how your oil drain is, yours might be more cocked than mine, so it might not be too bad. So right. uh, let's mock everything up first and then figure out if we have to take it back apart or not. Yeah. That sounds good. Cool. All right, so the only thing you gotta really, so there's like two things you gotta worry about when clocking turbos. Uh, one is position of the housing. So of course, exhaust housing has to be sitting flush on the exhaust manifold and then the intake side or the cold side, you want it to point in the direction that you want your intercooler piping going. Right. Uh, this thing is just pointing out the, you know, your hood. So <laughs> this thing goes clockwise, which is definitely more like USD on the driver's side. Yeah. Biased. Uh, so we're gonna rotate and just have it point towards your. Uh, right, which makes side. sense because I mean the factory intercooler goes right here. Yeah. So I have it go that way. Yeah. yeah. So and then the sense. only last thing you gotta worry about is uh, making sure your core is centered. Mm -hmm. uh, you always want your drain on the bottom of course and right. you want it is just like straight down as physically possible yeah if it's off like a couple degrees it's not a big deal mm -hmm. wow this thing looks fucking good all right well it looks like we got to clock it probably somewhere like there so we can kind of get a yeah 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 that's good we'll, we'll do it there oh uh, it looks so good <laughs> Uh, who put this stupid alternator in here? <laughs> All right, yeah, I mean, it's a little close to this, but we could have Justin weld on a um, aluminum 90, so you don't have to worry about any, any heat issues, so. Cool, um, that was the easy part. Now we gotta bolt it all together. <laughs> yeah, so so the hardest part of all of this is probably the oil drain. The coolant lines are easy, because we're gonna use like, the OEM ports, like right here, and probably one in the back. And then the oil feed is gonna go underneath here. We could probably snake it through one of these lines, mm -hmm. and that's easy peasy. Um, but the oil drain, as you can see, we not don't really, a lot of space yeah, for that. Where are we supposed to go? Nah, we'll figure it out. We'll get back to you guys. All right, so Jimmy's kind of giving me a, uh, a teaching lesson on this. I've never done this stuff before, so it's kind of cool to, to watch. So and this is a good demonstration. It's a beautiful turbo, dude. All right, so <laughs> we got the oil drain on. Uh, we got our oil feed specific to this turbo because sometimes I need different tolerances on the. You can Google that stuff okay. later. But uh, for the coolant lines, these things are easy, accessible. Oh yeah. Did we get the right ones? Come on, baby. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. That's pretty. Torqued. <laughs> Torqued this way. What's that? What's that meme? It's like stonks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good. There we go. She's assembled. Sick. Uh, cool. It's what's next, man? Three fifty. <laughs> just straight to it. Right now. Let's do it. Right now. Just... All right, so we went to go kind of put the studs into the manifold and Our the cluster. ones that, the, so I bought two kits. I bought a Mamba kit, which is the same kit that Jimmy used for all his coolant stuff on his turbo. Uh, and then I have obviously the CX kit with all the lines and stuff for that. But the CX kit kind of came with these junky <laughs> bolts, Home Depot bolts that we don't really feel comfortable using. So we're gonna take that thread pitch and uh, go to the hardware store 
Get and nice, nice studs. Get the right stuff. And please. we need to get a block off for one of the oil drains or oil feeds because the twin turbo. You know, right, you got to block one of them yeah, off. So. so we'll basically just get a bolt and put a cross washer on it, and it's good to go. Yeah. The, the CX gets supposed to come with it, but I don't think it did. So. Bitches. <laughs> Spills this whole thing. In this. <laughs> You're breaking the bank today, kid. <laughs> Three seventy. Those are expensive. Dude. Pay to play, kid. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, OEM Toyota. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so we had to take the turbo apart to get that last bolt fully tight. It's a huge pain in the ass. Slidery. Okay, so now we gotta like bolt this all back up. Like. Yeah. It's gonna be kind of tough. I'm gonna slap this down really quick. So yeah, we kind of jumped the gun a little bit. It, just, it, it's dark. There's, yeah, there's not a good places for the <laughs> tripod to sit on to. No, no, not at all. But here we go. So the oil feed is all on. The oil drain is all on. Um, the we, were able to, oh, sorry. No, we were able to find a black line, which is great because it looks really nice in here. Now, uh, obviously there is like a little flat spot right here. Um, so for some, what I've noticed on the internet is people are so concerned about oil drains like all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, like this will be no issue. It, it's high enough and it's, and it's like not, and it's low enough that we won't have any issues. A 60 degree bend would obviously be more ideal, yeah. but the 45 put it right into the manifold. So this was our uh, best option. No, it, it looks great, it looks, works awesome, and I'm stoked that we found the black line, the silver line was kind of jank. Yeah, it looks um, tacky. But this looks insane. Yeah, not too bad. First so, time seeing this engine with a big spoolie boy on it. Yeah, it looks so good. We just gotta <laughs> repowder coat this and we get to go. Yeah. But uh, this is cool, so we left this a little loose uh, just so you can fine tune it for the intercooler piping. Now all we need to do is actually do the coolant lines, which are kind of easy. The only thing we have to do is keep them out of the way of hot things. So. Right. The uh, stock ones are, there's two feeds here and uh, two returns, one in the front, one in the back. One's basically behind the thermostat, one's in front of it. Uh, one's in front of the water pump, one's behind it. So uh, we're gonna try and use one of these and one of the bottom ones yeah. and then just loop whatever ones we don't use. Sweet. So what's cool about the kit that Mike got is they look like fancy braided stainless lines, right? Well, they actually go right to barb fittings. So it looks like they're super legit. But then we could literally just put onto like an OEM hose, right? And so it gives you that like nice high end look. Yeah, yeah. Um, but utilizes all the factory stuff. So that's sick. I'm thinking we do one rear, one front, right? Yeah, I think so. So we got to pick. Do we want the rear one? This, and so we could do the rear one in the back, and then do this one, like here. Yeah. Yeah. That Are we into it? Yeah, I'm into it. Yeah, let's Hell it. yeah, let's do it. sitting here admiring this thing. I wanna take the time really quick to just thank this beautiful man over here for all the help that he's been doing on this. Happily. I, uh, I definitely wouldn't be anywhere along with this uh, turbo kit uh, without him. Um, I did do a kit on the Civic, but this is not really the same and uh, not nearly as bad a quality as the Civic's turbo <laughs> kit. So, uh, I know it's like disrespectful to compare the two. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm, beyond, beyond hyped on this. Uh, so the coolant lines are ran, uh, the oil lines are ran, and everything's just kind of loose. So all that's left is kind of- Two hours of just tightening things. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. exactly. So uh, we just have to put the exhaust manifold gasket on, tighten everything up, uh, and then we should be able to start this thing. Mm. And then you just need to do your intercooler. Yep. So. I don't know what I want to do about an intercooler right now. Uh, obviously, I still have the factory side mount intercooler in here. 
Uh, but the main thing that's scaring me is taking the bumper off because <laughs> he's so petrified. Dude, I'm like, so every, nervous. Every like hour, he, he's like, you know, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm super nervous about it because, well, because it's a poly kit. I'm just picturing taking this bumper off and the paint just falling off of it. <laughs> so it's like really nerve wracking for me. Um, well, you better do it early in the season. You know, if you got to do it, do it now. I know. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna probably start, sh <clears throat> probably gonna start shopping around for an intercooler. Uh, but for the time being, uh, I don't see why we can't just snake some generic piping in here to the factory intercooler right here. Uh, just to <laughs> for now. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I'll look next here and you put a fucking big old. Oh, I know. Fucking thing is it? Look at that. It'll be dope with an intercooler on it, full setup. But uh, yeah, so we're just kind of left with tightening stuff, and then we should be able to start it. All right, so we went to put everything back on fully tight. Uh, we remembered that one of the studs had come out uh, with the nut on it. And so we tried to put it back in, it was a nightmare. Uh, we took that stud out, we used one of the studs that came with the new kit, the Mamba kit. Uh, and now that that new stud is in, uh, the manifold is having trouble sitting on the engine. And that's just because these CX manifolds, uh, the flanges are super, super thick, uh, which is pretty good because it's good structure, but it makes it a nightmare sometimes trying to get these things fit up. Um, we're that close away uh, to starting this car up. Once we get that figured out and we get a couple other lines uh, plugged up, then we can put the downpipe on and theoretically start this thing. Uh, but unfortunately, we're kind of out of time for today. Uh, we did a bunch. The whole turbo kit is basically bolted on. Uh, it's just that close uh, to starting. So in the next video on the Soar, uh, I'll be back next week, hopefully early next week, and we can bang this out, get this thing started, kind of plumb up the uh, intercooler, or the factory intercooler uh, really quick so that we can have it run properly, uh, cycle oil coolant, everything through it and hear this thing for the first time. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm stoked to be back home working on some of my cars. Once again, huge shout out to this man over here for all his hard work putting into this. I really, we, we really made good progress it. today. We made a lot. I of, told you this was gonna be a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you were not wrong, <laughs> uh, but it just looks so, so good in here. Definitely leave a like on the video if you guys are stoked for this turbo kit because I think it's going to make this car so much better. So that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Peace.